Schwartzlander. Hey, Matt. Hey, Bart. How are you? I'm good. Welcome back. Thank you. Great to be back. Uh, it's always uh, a, a time of excitement in uh, Brooklyn because there's a lot going on. And today we're going to do some catching up on uh, everything Brooklyn. Absolutely. A ton, a ton of things going on. Exciting for, for the community, for the businesses, and for, for everybody involved. So uh, looking forward to chatting about it, sharing more of, of what's going on in our community. Well, one of the things that um, you're doing is you're, you're making some, some plans and you are, um, and I think, planning uh, improvements uh, on, the, on the corridor um, downtown and on some of the other uh, community development um, mm -hmm. activities and you're getting an assist from CDAM. Yep, so the Center for Economic Development of Michigan has a fellowship program that they do every two years. And so Brooklyn was uh, selected as a host site for the next two years. And uh, this is an opportunity uh, to partner with, uh, with CEDAM and the MEDC to uh, bring in this fellowship program so we can build a capacity within our staff and within our community to focus on uh, community and economic development uh, opportunities. And so we are in the active hiring process for this position and so actively searching. So if this is something that might interest you, uh, this would be a great opportunity to get into community economic development and you can do it right here in, in Brooklyn. Awesome. So would you say um, a recent um, college graduate uh, or someone that has some experience, who's the ideal candidate? I, I think starting at this point, um, everybody's the ideal candidate. And so if, you, if you're a, a fresh college graduate looking to get into it or whether you're a seasoned vet that's looking for a career change, uh, get your application in and, and let's have a conversation. Awesome. Yeah. And what would this person do? What kinds of things uh, are they going to help uh, help you with? Yeah, so three main focuses for us within the village. Uh, one, we are uh, going to be working through a rebrand of the village, so new logo, marketing, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this person would be help leading the charge on developing a marketing plan for the village and seeing that process through. Um, also working through the Redevelopment Ready Communities Program with the MEDC, getting us uh, better set up within our structure uh, internal structures to work with businesses and uh, help in the development process of that uh, as well as we're doing a master plan so long-term strategic planning um, looking at parks and rec plan economic development plan and so this person would help in guiding and overseeing that process as well so mm -hmm. quite a bit that they would be doing um, within that that's a 15-month fellowship starting in January and running through the next April and so it'd be a, a great learning experience uh, along with all the resources that come from CEDAM and MEDC. So it could be a great opportunity for somebody. Cool, okay, uh, rebrand. So do, is there a slogan? Do you have a village slogan? So not approved yet, <laughs> but we're looking at life's perfect pace. Life's perfect place? Pace. Pace, yep. life's perfect. Yes. So one of, the, one of the really exciting things about our area is that we have Michigan International Speedway. Mm -hmm. So you think speed and power, and then you have 52 lakes within 10 miles of the village and how relaxing of an atmosphere that is. And so that kind of juxtaposition and just how the village supports all of that, and we are at life's perfect pace. I like it. So more to, more to come on that brand, yeah. and you'll see that rolling out over the next couple months once it's proved. It beats my choice. Brooklyn. We're not that Brooklyn. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Better. All right. So uh, this morning on the morning show, Jennifer uh, showed a picture or two of her visit to a new restaurant in downtown Brooklyn. Absolutely. Atlas. Uh, a great new uh, restaurant opened, uh, opening this week. Uh, soft opening was over the weekend. And uh, this is uh, just one of the many exciting things that we have happening right now um, that is going to uh, bring life to our downtown and to the whole community. Uh, but uh, congrats to uh, Taylor and Abby, uh, local owners um, of this new restaurant, um, highly invested in the community and, and doing a ton to support the community. Uh, so just excited to see their dream become a reality and to see what this is going to do for uh, for our community. Wow. Uh, looks uh, Some of the food yeah. we ate the other night. Looks cool and hip. 
Yeah. And you've already been. They had a soft opening they last week. They had a week. soft opening, yep. It was uh, absolutely delicious. So looking forward to going back. Yeah, I peeked in the window uh, a couple months ago, and all the uh, equipment was sitting there in boxes ready to go, and I thought, this is going to be a big hit. Yeah. P poorly needed, I mean. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, something um, drastically needed for uh, for our downtown and for the for the corridor throughout Brooklyn. And uh, just an exciting opportunity uh, to, to see this happen and uh, how it's going to support the development of the other businesses that are right downtown and throughout the corridor in the community. Yeah, and the Star Theater, uh, after sitting empty for decades, has uh, a new owner and some uh, hopes for revitalization. Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I literally danced in my office when I heard this. Uh, it's just, again, a great opportunity to re revitalize uh, like you said, a, a building that has been vacant for decades. Mm -hmm. And to have uh, a group um, such as Heart of the Lakes that's coming in to do this, uh, the, the community of this is going to be phenomenal. And so just looking forward to continuing that process and getting that project up and running for them. Yeah, so and that's pretty exciting. Much, it will be the last uh, missing empty storefront on, on the square, won't it? It'll be the, the main one, absolutely. Yeah. Yep, and we've got a couple other pieces that are that are working out with some of the other businesses, or some of the vacant buildings, um, as well as just the other businesses that continue to grow. Um, if you've not been in the new Choke Marketplace yet, definitely check that out, um, along with Sweet Caroline's um, and, and IDK, and there's so many, along with the Village Peddler that's been there for years, and, and Kelsey's you can come spend a day shopping and eating and really enjoy yourself uh, in, in our community. Yeah, it's uh, almost like a uh, made for Hollywood uh, downtown. Absolutely, it absolutely is. We had the uh, folks from the Kiwanis uh, on the show a few weeks ago about their uh, fundraising project for the Swains Park playground equipment. How's that going? Wonderful. We've spent the last uh, couple weeks probably close to 75 volunteers building and installing equipment in the park. Mm -hmm. And so they were out there just this morning again uh, putting down cement um, with to, to anchor in all the playground equipment. And so it's, it's getting real close. Uh, we've got quite a bit more work to do. And some of that pending weather might take us till the spring, but we, uh, we're going to have a a big ribbon cutting when it's all uh, finished and ready to go. Uh, the Kiwanis Club raised uh, nearly $175,000 for the playground equipment. Mm -hmm. And then uh, working with our state legislators, we were able to get another 250000 to uh, put toward ADA updates uh, throughout the park. And so it's exciting to uh, really see that investment in Swain Park and, and what that means for uh, the future of recreation and for uh, for kids to be able to uh, actively engage and, and participate in all of that equipment. Awesome. So maybe by uh, spring, yep. we'll see kids playing on it. Absolutely. Nice. Well, thanks to all the donors because, as you said, the uh, service club, Qantas, raised all the money, but they had some uh, some some great benefactors, including, I believe, one uh, one person that made a. Uh, Pretty big chunk of that. Sizable donation, yeah. yes. So a lot of a lot of big thank yous going out to a lot of great people. All right, here come the holidays. Have you right. seen Christmas decorations up yet? We are starting to get them up next <laughs> week. Next week, and I know this this weekend is the holiday open house in downtown Brooklyn. So come on out. Great weekend to come down and, and see the village. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's a cute little shopping uh, destination. Yes. With all those little uh, and unique gift shops on yep. the square. A uh, new restaurant. With soft opening, do you know when they're, are they going to be full-blown open? They are full-blown open as of Thursday this week. Nice. Yep. And I remember, I think, when they first talked about what they were doing, and I could tell from the pictures it's got kind of a Mediterranean uh, flair yep, to it. Yep, Mediterranean. So Atlas is the name. They're kind of getting cuisine from all over the world and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they'll, and they'll be able to change that and mold that on, on different times, times of the year. And, and different cuisine options. So it's exciting to have that kind of option uh, locally and, and really bring in some new new cuisine ideas. So it's, it's really, really neat idea. Yeah, and it looks like something you'd see in a big city. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful inside, absolutely gorgeous. Awesome. 
All right, so we've got um, some other um, downtown uh, Brooklyn uh, holiday things coming up. You do an annual Christmas parade? Yep, so the Friday after Thanksgiving is our annual holiday parade and Christmas tree lighting. And so looking forward to that a huge event again, usually brings several thousand people uh, into the community. And so uh, 5.30 activities will begin. Parade is at seven and always a great time. So come on, come on down and enjoy the festivities. Awesome. And I know there's some development uh, for the corridor for you know, the main, main drag. You've got an authority too, right? Yes, yeah, so we have a corridor improvement authority is what it's called, or DDA is kind mm -hmm. of the similar thing that you'll see um, around in other places. So they, they work to support uh, economic development, community development through the, throughout the corridor. And so they're, they're engaged in the branding process and will be engaged in wayfinding and streetscape and making, making the community a great place to come and visit and to do business. Life's perfect. Piece. Yes. Is that it? Did I remember it? You remember? Yep, absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, that, that must be mean it's a winner. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> if you can remember something like that, it, it works. All right, Matt, great to hear, you, uh, hear about all the cool things happening in uh, beautiful Brooklyn. Absolutely. Come on down, and everybody, you're welcome to come down and visit. Excited to have you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, checking out Atlas. Thanks so much, uh, Village Manager, Village of Brooklyn, Matt Schwartzlander.